Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to fix Jurassic World Evolution 3 game crashing, not launching, not loading, lagging, freezing, low FPS or other issues on PC. So let's go through it. So the first method is to restart your PC. So for that, click on the Windows icon over here, then click on power, then select restarts. Now this will restart your system. After restarting, check if the uh, game is launching or not. If not, next is to modify launch options. So for that, go to uh, Team uh, now under library section select your game here I am showing you an example just right click on the game right select properties now under general here you have to type minus dx11 and then check if the issue is fixed if not uh, again come back and type minus dx12 and then try to launch the game and see if it resolves the problem if not again come back type minus d3d11 and then check if you can launch the game without any kind of issue if the issue still occurs next method is to update graphics driver for that go to the windows search search for device manager now here expand uh, display adapter select your graphics card right click on it click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers so this will update your graphics driver after updating your graphics driver check it if you can launch the game nvidia and amd users go through the uh, link that i have already given in the description and you can easily update your graphics card from there Next solution is to verify integrity of game files. For that launch team under library section select your game, right click on it, click on properties. Now click on install files and then click on verify integrity of game files. So uh, after verifying the game files, check if you can launch the game or not. If not, next is to run game as administrator. For that uh, launch team, then select your game under library section, right click on it, click on manage and click on browse local files. Now. Uh, this will take you to the game folder where your game has been installed select the game application right click on it click on properties click on compatibility select run this program as an administrator click on apply and ok and check if it resolves the problem if not again come back select run this program in compatibility mode for select windows 8 or windows 7 and then press on apply and ok and check if you can play the game if not again come back select disable full screen optimizations then click on apply and ok and after that try to resolve the Try to check if the game is launching or playing or not. If not, next solution is to allow the game through firewall. So for that, go to Windows search, search for Windows security. Now click on firewall and network protection, allow an app through firewall. Click on change settings. Here you have to search for the game if it's listed. If not, click on allow another app, then click on browse and after that, Go to the game folder where your game has been installed, select the game application and then select the game. Make sure both private and public boxes are ticked and then click on OK. After this, try to play the game. Next is to disable antivirus program. So if you are having any antivirus program, then it can interrupt in your gameplay and can lead to such kind of issues. Somewhere the antivirus program blocks the game and you cannot play. So if it's so, then it's suggested to check the settings of that particular program or disable it to play the game hassle free. Next method is to close other background processes. For that, go to the Windows search, search for task manager. Now here you have to search for those apps which are of no use. You have to simply close them completely. So simply you have to select them, right click on it and click on end task. So after this, uh, try to launch the game and see if it resolves the problem. If not, next is to clear download cache. So for that, go to Steam. Now click on Steam option over here, then click on settings. Then go below click on downloads then go below and here you can see clear download cache you have to click on clear cache option so after clearing the cache on steam now check if the game is playing or not if not next is to check graphic settings of the game so when your graphic settings are not properly set up like texture quality resolution etc then it directly impacts the game and this is where the game can crash or suffer from other issues as it plays a vital role so make sure to set up the settings properly or even lower the graphic settings to avoid the unwanted issue Next solution is to update windows for that go to the windows search, search for check for updates this will take you directly to the windows update page here you have to click on check for updates and look if any update is available if there is any update you have to update your windows to the latest version and after that try to play the game next is to disable in game overlay for that go to steam click on steam option then click on settings now click on in game then here enable the steam overlay while in game option if it is enabled you have to click on it to disable it after disabling uh, the steam overlay now try to launch the game and see if you can play it 
Next method is to stop overclock CPU and GPU settings. So sometimes overclocking makes the CPU or GPU unstable. So you are suggested to check if there is any overclocking of the CPU or GPU in the background. This will help you to fix the issue. Next solution is to run game on dedicated graphics card. So for that, go to the Windows search, search for graphics settings. And uh, here you have to add your game to the list. For that, click on add desktop app, then go to the game folder, select your game, add it to the list over here. And after adding it, now click on the arrow icon under GPU preference. You have to select high performance. After selecting high performance, now try to launch the game and see if you can play it. Next method is to increase virtual memory. So for that, uh, go to the windows search over here search for view advanced system settings click on settings click on advanced change select the for drive where your game has been installed now click on custom here you have to type one double two double eight in the initial size and in the maximum size type two four five seven six then click on set and then click on ok after doing this changes check if you can play the game next is to install visual c plus plus files so for that go through the link I have already provided in the description or simply search in your browser visual c++ files now after opening the website uh, here you have to download the visual c++ files after downloading it install them on your pc after installing it restart your system and then log into the game and check if you can play it without any further problem but if the issue still continues then you are suggested to reinstall jurassic world evolution 3 game for that, go to Steam, under library section, select your game, right click on it, click on manage, then click on uninstall and finally click on uninstall option. This will remove the game from your PC. After that, restart your PC once. After restarting, launch Steam and again reinstall Jurassic World Evolution 3 game on your PC and then click on play button and check if you can launch the game or play the game without any kind of issues. So these are few solutions that are suggested to fix the game crashing not launching or any other kind of issues on pc so that's all for now in this video thank you